Hi guys, so I have this microwave and uh, the issue that I'm facing is every time I turn it on, um, the fuse blows. So <clears throat> the way it started happening was we were using the microwave and doing back-to-back uh, -back, uh, food uh, heat up and uh, you know, the next one my wife put in and she started it, uh, all of a sudden everything went out and just everything stopped working and there was no power to it. And it doesn't matter, I mean, if you plug it <clears throat> and unplug it, there was no power coming at all. So um, the very first thing, of course, comes in mind is, uh, you know, the fuses are good. So the very first thing I did was I kind of opened it up and uh, looked inside and uh, there are two fuses. And uh, the very first thing I did was I removed the front top lid, right? And there are a few screws that you have to remove. I'm not going to show you. I mean, it's pretty basic. A couple on, on the sides, a couple on top, and then, uh, you know, kind of some at the bottom as well anyways this whole thing comes off and then i just like removed it to put it on the side and then once you come in this is your main power line coming in and you can follow it and uh there is a small circuit board right there and that's where you'll find the fuses now you have to check both of these fuses and uh, one of them is for the low voltage compartment the other one is for the high voltage and uh my high voltage has gone bad so it was this particular switch Sorry, this particular fuse. I took it out, which is which was this guy right there, and this is a 20 amp, 250 volt fuse. And uh, if you really look closer, it shows you right there, 250 volt, and then uh, 20 amp right there. So uh, all you need is a, a voltmeter to test it and. It tests for continuity, and when I was testing it for continuity, there was nothing ringing at all. I'm kind of showing you with one hand, but this is, of course, is a bad switch, uh, bad fuse, and uh, it's not buzzing at all. And it's supposed to buzz for continuity, and that tells me that this fuse was blown. So what I do is I order um, the sets of fuse. You know, it comes in a pair of 20 um, and uh, 20 pieces. <clears throat> you can also buy one, but I. Since I'm troubleshooting, I wanted to order some extra and I plug in this fuse and I put it in and I plug the power in and guess what? Everything is up and running and everything seems good. But remember, if your fuse blew, something else is wrong. So the test that I was going to plan on doing next was to power it on. And as soon as I did put something and press the start, guess what? The fuse blew again. So that tells me, okay, that's confirmed that something else is going on, which is blowing the fuse, which is pulling too many amps. So, uh, of course, I pulled that fuse out. I put in a new fuse, but I'm, I'm not going to power it in at this time because I know the only reason I put it in because we're going to have to replace it anyway. So I put the fuse in. <clears throat> um, and, of course, everything is unplugged. Uh, if you're in this area, make sure you short out the capacitor. So there, the capacitor was mounted right there. And uh, I had these two wires connected to the capacitor, the white and the red. And then there's another terminal, which uh, is mainly for your diode. So the diode kind of connects it to the other terminal. And then it goes to the ground, connected right there. So... Um, the very first thing if your fuse is blowing is most likely your capacitor has gone bad. It's just uh, putting too much load uh, when you try to turn the uh, microwave on. You know, it tries to um, turn this magnetron on and it's just, uh, this is not providing the support that is supposed to during the kickoff. So I removed this guy and uh, of course, you know, what I did was I unplugged it, left it alone for a day. The only reason I did that is uh, because I didn't feel like working yesterday. <clears throat> I had a long day at work, so this weekend I was free, so I decided to unplug it and play around with it. So since it was plugged, unplugged all night, I knew this was discharged. But if it's not discharged, all you have to do is just take a plier and just touch these two terminals with the plier just like that, and I'll short it out. Uh, for safety purpose, you must do that. <clears throat> so, anyways, let's check the impedance on this guy. And I'm going to put it right here, but this is on impedance right now. But if you click on this, this goes on to nanofarad, which is your measuring farad. And this one is a 0.91 nanofarad. And uh, if you, if, you, if I try to read the thing right there, see it shows open. 
so that tells me this is bad. It's not even measuring anything. So basically this is toasted. And uh, I ordered another one with the same spec, 0.91 microfarad. Everything's same. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for this guy. Um, I'm gonna leave one for diode as well. If you're replacing this, I recommend go ahead and replace the diode as well. Uh, your diet might be okay, but uh, you know, since it's so cheap and you're already in there, might as well just do the whole thing. Um, so I got this, I got this. My magnetron is good. I have a video on how to replace the magnetron in another uh, video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below how to replace that. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Uh, just mount this guy wired up the way it was exactly. Just make sure to take pictures before you remove this so you know where all the wires go. And that's pretty much it, you know, once I do this, everything should be up and running. So I ordered one. Hopefully I'm supposed to get it tomorrow, Sunday, overnight delivery for this part. Um, it's pretty cheap, like 10 bucks. Um, and uh, we'll put it in and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I got a good capacitor right there. Let's read the readings here. Make sure you have a good connection. That's a good reading, 906 nanofarad. And this one is completely bad, so you can see. No matter how much I move, there's like zero. It just goes open, so. Okay, so this is all fixed. Everything is uh, up and running. And uh, you can see I set the clock. And now we can go ahead and start it and as you're gonna see as soon as I press it, you're gonna you're gonna hear. There you go. So everything is up and running and working. And I'm just gonna turn it off. So that's how you fix a microwave. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.